of a qualified physician. The city's medical register is always at your What's this? Thomas Hickey? Might be. What's it to you? Huh. Oh, ain't supposed to be none of your kind left. Suppose I'd best be rectifying that then. Get him! Be still. You will do no more harm. You are a right fool meddling in affairs you know nothing about. Washington's the only thing keeping the Continental Army together. You kill him, you end all hope for freedom. Wrong, boy -o. With him gone, they'll have no choice but to promote Lee, and then... You are both under arrest! Oh, well, we were just having a scrap, officer. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, two men settling their differences the old-fashioned way. Can't we come to a... Quiet! What are the charges? Counterfeiting! I had nothing to do with that. Of course not! 
Listen, there are more important things at stake here. This man is planning to... Ah. You... You miss me, sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is... I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was going to handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. Planning an escape. We should get in on it. Yeah? And what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah. Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel Weems, they call him. Sticky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even told me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! What for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very funny. Trouble, or you'll wind up in the pit. What are you looking at, half breed? You not understand English? That it? to knock some sense into that thick head of yours? I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Please don't hurt me! Wait. 
Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I am an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this? George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. But it's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. But that loud finch stole it. it took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. He is useless.
What are you looking at? You in the market for us, Bin? Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why don't you just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? He might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. How do I reach the Warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The Warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die. See yourself a troublemaker, eh? Some time in the pit should cool your blood. Look at all of you, pathetic, dirty wretches. You're not but swine, suckling at the teats of civilization. Thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent and beg forgiveness? No. You elect instead to commit new and more terrible crimes You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. 
nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. Not who you was expecting, am I right? What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free, and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. First we bind you and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could pin the murder of uh, the warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Huh. Once that's all squared away, well then. <laughs> all oh, those years ago, the child in the forest was you. I said I would find you. <gasps> and so you have. But not quite as you had expected, am I right? Mm -hmm. You know, all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked. Ah, uh, but what's done is done.
Hello, Connor. Didn't think I'd miss your going away party, did ya? <laughs> I hear Washington himself is gonna be in attendance. Hope nothing bad happens to him. You said there'd be a trial. Oh, no trial for traitors, I'm afraid. Lee and Haytham sorted that. It's straight to the gallows for you. <laughs> I will not die today. The same cannot be said for you. That's enough! Keep moving! Forget about me. You need to stop Hickey. He's... Uh, up you go. Don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. Now you see what he gets you. A pine box. Little else. Brothers. Sisters, fellow patriots, several days ago we learned of a scheme so vile, so dastardly, that even repeating it now disturbs my being. The man before you plotted to murder our much beloved general. Indeed, what Darkness or madness moved him, none can say, and he himself offers no defense, shows no remorse. And though we have begged and pleaded with him to share what he knows, he maintains a deadly silence. If the man will not explain himself, if he will not confess and atone, what other option do we have but this? He sought to send us into the arms of the enemy. And thus we are compelled by justice to send him from this world. May God have mercy on your soul. Need to stop, Hickey. Go! live to see another day. Shame. I want answers. Why did Johnson try and buy my people's land? Why was Pitcairn targeting Adams and Hancock? What purpose would Washington's murder have served? Why does your order support the British? How should I know? The Templars, Lee, the big man, Haytham. They has the money. They has the power. That's the reason I threw him with them. That's the only reason Sure, they have some sort of vision for the future, too. I didn't give a damn about any of that. They can sing their songs 
about mankind and its troubles. They can make their plans and spring their traps. Don't bother me none. They paid me, so I said yes. Didn't bother to ask who or how or why. Didn't care. You chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable? What else is there? I'm not some blind fool who give up all I've got on principle. What is principle anyway? Can you bring it to the bank? Don't look at me like that. We're different, you and I. You're just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. Thing is, boy, I can have what I seek. Had it even. You, your hands will always be empty. I said, lower your goddamn guns! This man's a hero! Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him something like this would happen. Piffle! Stop! He wanted to kill the commander. Nearly killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. But still a man. <clears throat> You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. And so am I. Something wrong? He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. It's quite impressive what you've accomplished. Is that a compliment? No, don't misconstrue. I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. But to have come this far, well, it's more than I ever expected. The people yearn for freedom but feared to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. Thanks to you? No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role. But you have always been of humble heart. I do what is right. No more, no less. You cannot tell him. I have to. Otherwise he will never be safe. He is safer not knowing. By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. Hunt the Templars, as is your duty. But do not drag these men into it. And for the support of this declaration... We must now all hang together. Yes, we must indeed all hang together. Or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately. You are once more our savior. I must speak with the commander. He's gone to try and hold New York. The British intend to take it. I fear we'll need to recall our men from Quebec as well. It's one thing to declare our independence. Now, my friend, we must make it so. Everything all right? Sean has located a... I've asked her a flight for us. Where to? Brazil.
You there, Rebecca? Bad reception. Can you hear me? Well, glad to see that's working. Guess I'll try you back when I'm topside. Copy now. Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Your target's definitely in the VIP area. The entrance is at the end of this concourse. There's got to be a way to slip past them. Side room, maybe? Hallway? Something? Estamos procurando este homem. Se ver algo suspeito, fale com a gente imediatamente. Great. Quick, set up a checkpoint. Lander, do something. Get close to the crowd and you should be okay. Or look for a way around it. Ele está aqui. Ele está aqui. O homem do Catar. Seriously, what is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? Troughs are time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. Uh, what if I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone, if you do. Watch your back, they're on you. Looks like I'm close. Shit! Another checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security's too tight here. Passam 20 minutos simulando o sexo anal e fatura milhão. Quebrou as costas, trabalhando 80 horas por semana. Alguém estava segurando! Olha, aconteceu só isso. A gente não queria que acontecesse. 
Isso aconteceu. Sinto muito. Sente muito? Ela é minha irmã, cara. A volta da minha irmã. Com fome. A gente se ama. Pronto, tá aí, tá de. A gente se ama e já faz muito tempo. Por favor, senhor. Eu achava que era meu melhor amigo. E você aí trançando com minha irmãzinha pelas minhas costas. Você devia estar feliz por nós. Vou cuidar dela direito. Você vai ver. Vai pra puta que te pariu. Almost there, Desmond. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side?
We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. Oh, look at that. I found a third power source. Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha!
Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. Last words? Wait. A poor choice. <coughs> Come to check up on Church? Make sure he'd stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom, justice, independence. But... Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. What do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... 
Perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him. There were rations inside the crates, medical supplies and clothing as well. Snow has obscured the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. Just my luck. Going to freeze to death if I don't get this fixed. Are you Ben Church's man? Well played. wise to run. What do you want? Where is Benjamin Church? I don't know. We was riding for a camp just north of here. It's where we'd normally unload the cargo. <laughs> Maybe you'll find him there. Enough of that. You did not have to kill him. Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's Ben. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. And what about you? Never you mind. Just do as I ask. Saw a bit of gunpowder in those crates. We'll get extra for that. I, Church, will be pleased and we'll be rich. 
I almost feel bad for the Yanks, shivering and starving out there. It's a hard way to go. All they need to do is raise the white flag. They should have done that a long time ago. All this fight serves no purpose. The crowd's sure to win in the end. You waste all those lives chasing the field motion. Great. something new tonight. A raid. No more convoys. We're to steal from the Yank camp itself. Valley Forge. That's right. You sure about this? It's not my business to be sure or not sure. I just do as Church asks. If you're so concerned, take it up with him. Is he here? <laughs> of course not. Hiding in New York the last I heard. Trying to keep a low profile. What on account of him not wanting to go back to jail and all. All right, I'm in. Look what we found. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious like. Must be a Yank spy. Ah, uh, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. And you should know better than this. <clears throat> You're not really in a position to be making threats, are you? Not yet. Business working together. Unbelievable.
How dare you call upon me after Monmouth? I have nobody else to turn to. The Culper Ring informed me that West Point's been infiltrated. I believe they intend to murder Major General Benedict Arnold. I still do not see why you need me. The loss of such a figure would be devastating to the cause. It must be done without my soldiers' knowledge. The mere idea of the Patriots being breached would be crippling to morale, to the war. Will you do it? It will be done. But never call on me again. Fight these two, chase us and beat us when they can. If you could draw them away, we could take just enough to fill our bellies for the night. Still too close, Mr. Quill. Starve before long. Evening, Connor. I see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> Recovered from your beating, then? Benjamin Sher just holed up on an abandoned brewery on the waterfront. We should be done with this by sunrise. Good. I would like to have those supplies returned as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't want to keep you from your lost cause. Come along, then. Follow me. Tell me something. Hmm? You could have killed me when we first met. What stayed your hand? Curiosity. Any other questions? What is it the Templars truly seek? Order. Purpose. Direction. No more than that. It's your lot that means to confound with this nonsense talk of freedom. Time was. The Assassins professed a far more sensible goal. That of peace. Freedom is peace. Oh no. It's an invitation to chaos. Only look at this little revolution your friends have started. I have stood before the Continental Congress and listened to them stamp and shout. All in the name of liberty. But it is just noise. And this is why you favor Lee? He understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the Jobinels who profess to represent it. It seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. The people have made their choice, and it was Washington. The people chose nothing. It was done by a group of privileged cowards seeking only to enrich themselves. They convened in private and made a decision that would benefit them. Oh, they might have dressed it up with pretty words. That does not make it true. The only difference, Connor, the only difference between myself and those you aid is that I do not feign affection.
Hold a moment. Church, you clever bastard. What is it? I was hoping I could wave you past the guards, but it has replaced most of them with men I don't know. Hmm. Well, I should be able to pass without arousing suspicion, but you... No. We do this together or not at all. Then what do you propose? I will find a guard who is off duty and take his uniform. Very well. I will wait here then. Of course you will. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to come along and hold your hand, perhaps? Provide kind words of encouragement? That should suffice. Follow me. Hold, strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The father of understanding guides us. You I recognize, not the savage. He is my son. Tasted of the forest fruits, did you? Off you go, then. It's locked. Give me a moment. Must be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. Always wondered what life might have been like had she and I stayed together. How was she, by the way? Dead. Murdered. What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry. I found my money with the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. You always did prefer principle to profit. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. More of that. Look at the half-breed fight, like some feral dog! Best we put him down, boy! Duncan, get him! Careful, Connor. There's more! Don't let them escape! Get him! 
The Indian, too! They have reinforcements! Where is Church? I'll tell you. Anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live! You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half its hold with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. You promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. Get out of here. You don't say. so far. We'll need to find a way around the flames. Get back here, traitors! Oh, how I'll enjoy making you pay for your betrayal. Did church pay you well? You rewarded handsomely. And what good does your gold do you now? Is it... See if you can find something to pry it open. Honor? What are you up to? Oh, no. Don't do that. There's no way of knowing what's on the other side! Hi! <sighs> we do now. Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly if we're to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready. Shall we?
I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? We are closer than you think, father. Welcome. Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Bring us in for a closer look, son. It seems the ship has been abandoned. Church always was a slippery little bastard. Given the way you sail. Can the ship go no faster? More experience should take the wheel. It's almost as though you want him to escape. Speed, Connor! We need more speed! More experience should take the wheel. She's passing between the cliffs, boy, and the Aquila's too big to follow. We need to go around. God damn it! We're going to lose him! What other choice have we? Those rocks would crush us! The current here is swift. We still have a chance. Weapons! Prepare to return to 
Church is using the ambush as cover! Take him before he escapes! Send that bastard to the seafloor! No! I need his ship afloat! The cargo must be saved! Take the wheel. his ship, son. It's just I thought you wanted it in one piece. What has Church done with the cargo? Let me count. Work 
working my way through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever! Some of them, anyway. I'll give you credit for that. And for the quietude with which you pulled it off! Enough! We came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Where are the supplies you stole? Supplies. Uh, on the island beyond there. Uh, awaiting pickup. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. No. Not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged from British steel, who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands. How convenient for them. We do the work. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes, as though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path through life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. As dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ. And would not be without cause. Zawaniyos kinaa, nektiyah nete kantu tsitokaske. You did well. This passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality, but it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me? Or Suri? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how's Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I feared the Order allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened. 
which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done. to know what the Loyalists are planning, if we're to put an end to this. I try, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. We're so close to victory. A few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crown. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders.
have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Well, they're talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Ah! Ambush! Connor? Little help here? Leave the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them. Bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me?